Hello everyone and welcome to Cooking and Baking with SK. Today I'm going to show you how I made this lovely pretty Kit Kat cake and it was very pretty. As you can see it's basically a cake which has strawberries, it is Kit Kats surrounded around the cake and you basically put a fancy ribbon around like this of your choice. So you can give this cake as a present to whoever you like. You can give it to a family friend or your family or someone special and I'm sure they will appreciate it. My cake had a funfetti sponge. You can have cho chocolate sponge if you like but I thought this was nice, pretty and colourful. And here are the ingredients listed as you can see on the screen. I have two 8 inch pans ready with parchment paper inside and have a stand mixer ready. So I start off by putting the sugar into the bowl and the butter. So I mix the sugar and butter together. And then I mix this until it becomes nice and fluffy. I add an egg at a time. Add in a bit of vanilla essence. And then I add the flour to the butter. And finally, I add the funfetti sprinkles. And there's my butter ready to be put into the pans. I've sprayed the side of the pans as well so the cake does come off very easily so remember to do that and here they are out of the oven and this is pre-made buttercream so I have my cakes ready from before which have cooled down to the touch and I'm adding the buttercream But my buttercream was actually a bit hard because it was in the fridge so what I had to do is I had to add one a tablespoon of milk to loosen it and I mixed it again so it was pliable and I could spread it easily so that's what I did. So as you can see the buttercream is more spreadable and I can easily use it around the cake. I also put a bit of buttercream at the bottom of the cake onto the cake board so that the cake can stick and it doesn't slip when I move the buttercream so I forgot to tell you that. And then I'm going to add the other 8 inch cake on top. So I put the bottom side facing the top when I do this so the cake looks nice and neat like this and then I'll press down and now I'm just covering the cake with buttercream it doesn't have to be too neat because the Kit Kat was is going to cover the sides of the cake so if you're new to baking this will be a good cake that you can make because it covers any you know anything that's not neat it won't show so I'm nearly finished covering the cake and now I'm going to get my Kit Kats and then cover the side of the cake 
so you need to do this before the buttercream starts drying otherwise the Kit Kats will not stay they will fall off so I'm quickly putting the Kit Kats on to the sides one at a time and I'm neatly doing them in a sort of a line I'm lining them together so they look nice and neat So I have my gold ribbon ready and I find this way easy. I put this around the cake to measure how much I need and then just snip off the bit where I need to cut it and then bring it up and tie a nice bow. This also looks pretty and adds a good finishing touch to your cake but also keeps the Kit Kats in place which is good as well so if you're worried oh my Kit Kat might fall off this also in disguise holds the Kit Kats together as well but it also looks pretty as you can see and you can choose whatever colour you want to put around so if you want to put red if your theme is red you can put a red ribbon or whatever choice um, you can you do you can do that so here I have my washed and dried strawberries which I'm going to cover with chocolate I have my chocolate bar ready and I melted mine in the microwave because I find that quicker but you have to be careful because you don't want your chocolate to dry too much so I did it in like five or ten seconds just checking and there are a bit of lumps there so I'm mixing them myself because if I leave it in the microwave for too long this can harden the chocolate and then you can't use it for the strawberry so it should be actually runny like this so I dip the strawberry into the chocolate and just turn your strawberry uh, so the excess comes off and then place it onto the parchment paper for them to dry Just tap the excess off. And there you go. So I carried on doing the strawberries. And then once I had put covered them with chocolate, I placed them in the fridge for about 30 minutes so that the chocolate actually hardens. And then I can place this onto the cake the cakes are covered with chocolate so they have dried they've been in the fridge for half an hour now I'm going to add the white chocolate so I've melted the white chocolate and I put it in some parchment paper and then I'm going to put this onto the chocolate just do a little decoration on there So I'm just taking it across like that. But this takes practice, so the more you practice, 
and the more better you get at this but you don't have to do that if you don't want to so here's the cake ready uh, to be decorated a bit more so I'm going to place the dried strawberries on here and cover the top you can hear the ice cream van in the background <laughs> So here's the Kit Kat cake look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it useful. Um, I placed this into the box because I've got fresh strawberries. So uh, I put it in the box and put it in the fridge. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.